everyone, this is Crystal and I am back with week 15 in my creativity journal. Uh, you can see I already have my photos ready to go. There are not a lot of photos this week, um, but that's okay. I will make it work. For supplies, I have, let me just grab this just bunch of stuff. Um, it was part of um, a kit that I had put together from my stash and I think I had used it a couple times and it was just sitting there not getting used so I decided to tear it apart but before I do that I wanted to pull out a few things from it and and do this spread so I've got some pink fresh studio goodies these are studio calico um, some dear Lizzie enamel shapes more pink fresh studio and then I have um, the sticker book from Paige Evans and these, which are from a Paige Evans collection, I can't remember, but they're not the original papers. They're like, these are, I got them at Joanne. They're the single-sided, like super thin ones um, because I didn't have any more papers from this collection. And I knew that some of the stickers in this book coordinated with that collection. So um, yeah, you can see like that's the same there. Um, so I picked these up for super cheap thinking I would try and use those with the sticker book and then just have never done it. And that was probably two years ago. So it's time to get some, some of this stuff used. Um, that's what I'm going to try and use for this spread. I do have also this little, um, bowl of a few extra bits. These are Ellie's studio labels and some studio calico chipboard pieces. We'll see if we can work those in as well. Okay, so that is it. I am going to put you on fast forward and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just kind of moving the photos around on this page um, to try and get a better balance across the two pages. Um, I will end up moving those around as we move forward. Uh, I've said it before, but it doesn't really bother me to not have things on the exact day that they were taken or shared or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, it all happened within this week and later on when I look back on this, it's not gonna bother me that it's a couple days out of place. Um, I mostly just want this to be a nice cohesive spread. So I added that puffy frame around one of my photos. Those puffy stickers are from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, same with the die cut pack I'm looking through right now. Those came as a freebie um, a few years back when I bought a warehouse box from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, I think they did the same thing more recently, but um, this was a couple years ago when I bought a box and got these two um, little packs of embellishments for free. I don't think that they're from an actual collection. I think that they were just something like its own thing, as far as I can tell. Um, but when I got them, I thought they really coordinated well with that same um, Paige Evans collection that I showed you earlier, which I still can't remember the name of, and it's kind of driving me crazy. But um, yeah, I'm sure I'll think of it as soon as I'm done recording this. Um, Okay, so I am going through that ephemera pack and there is a lot in there that would really work well for this kind of spread. So um, I plopped a kind of a lot down on the page to start with and then realized, wait a second, I need to, <laughs> I need to be a little bit more um, discerning when going through these supplies or uh, it's just gonna be flowers everywhere. Uh, so I took those off and I decided to kind of come up with the rest of the design that I wanted to do and then add the flowers back in to fill in. Um, I did definitely want to use those chipboard pencils or like chipboard colored pencils from Studio Calico from a super old kit. Um, this is what I had left. There were more of them. Uh, I used them on the cover of one of my traveler's notebooks, uh, which was a total scrap lift of Diane from Dearly D. She did the same thing on one of her notebooks and um, I loved it so much that I just straight scrap lifted it for a notebook I was working on at the time. And then this is what is left over from that set. I may have actually had two sets. I ended up getting doubles of a lot of Studio Calico kits at one point. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if I had doubles of this one or not, but um, or maybe they came in like the scrapbook kit and the the pocket life kit or the project life kit or whatever they called it documenter kit. Um, yeah, that might that might have been it. Anyway, 
not relevant, really. The point is that they're super old and I want to get them used. And they're really cute and the colors work really well for um, the other supplies I've pulled for this spread, so I might as well add them. Um, just getting my photos glued down since I'm happy with where they all are. And then I can think about how I want the rest of this page to go. Um, I really love this stripe paper. I'm going to end up cutting just two of the stripes out and using it as my, um, to fill in that left hand border that's on this page. Uh, and I'm going to leave that angle at the top and um, use that to place my title for this week. I thought that would be something a bit fun and a bit more interesting than my normal just straight title. I did have to lift up the corner of that pencil to get it stuck down in place. I clearly wasn't thinking ahead when I stuck that down, but um, it's okay. It tore a little bit, but you won't ever see it obviously because it's underneath that paper. Okay, so um, I like the way that that looks. I'm going to go ahead and add my title with these Pink Fresh um, Alphas. And um, I'm just going to obviously mix up the colors. This is a multicolored alpha. And even within the colors, they're not in exactly the same. It's it's really weird. Um, I, had a, I really liked it. I think I bought two of them, maybe. Um, but I've had a hard time using it because I just don't really do multicolored alphas very well and um, normally I like pick out all of one color but the colors are all varied in this pack so um, I thought this would be a good place to get some of those used even if only just a few of them and um, because all of them really match the colors of this spread. So I have added a label, one of those Ellie Studio labels, to the bottom of the page to add some journaling. I'm going back to these puffy stickers. I'd like to use up as many of these as possible. Like I said, I've had all of this in my stash for years, so it's definitely, definitely time to get it used or to let go of it. Um, so depending on how much of this actually gets used on this spread, I will decide what to do with whatever is left. Okay, so now I have um, all the major pieces of this spread on the page. I can go back and fill in with some of these flowers and figure out how I want those to sit on the page. Um, I know that there are also some florals in that sticker book that I will add uh, to kind of fill in around these, so I'm keeping that in mind as well. And the florals in this pack are, um, there are several different kind of styles of florals. So um, I end up sticking with just a few of them and uh, leave the rest for a future project just because some of them felt a little bit too dark um, and just a little like a just a different style of flower. So um, I don't end up using all of them. Okay, so I'm going to stick down some of these flowers since I'm happy with where they are and um, then here in just a second, I will go away and add my journaling off camera. I just handwrite my journaling this week. Um, I did consider typing it, but I already had all of this stuff on the page and it doesn't go through the typewriter very well um, with all this stuff on it. So especially that chipboard, I would have had to pull all of that off and I didn't feel like um, cutting up strips of journaling. So I'm just gonna handwrite it. Um, I want to do that before I do all of the finishing touches just to make sure that I leave enough room for everything that I want to say. So just gluing down all the little bits that I have on the page so far and then I will write my journaling and come back and there it is magically all done and now I can just start filling in all of the empty spaces. So um, it does seem to be the case usually that the first half of these weeks, so the left hand side of these spreads are much busier than the right hand side. Um, and I think that's because my standard posts happen on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then um, I sometimes just don't have enough time to add another post or video um, throughout the rest of the week. So um, yeah, when that happens, then the other half of the week is pretty light and I end up having to fill it in quite a bit more with embellishments, which is okay to me. And I, I do sometimes, like I said, spread things out a little bit. It doesn't bother me to have them on different days. But, um, you know, if I can, I'd like to keep them on the correct day, quote unquote, correct day. So, um, yeah, it means that sometimes the second half of these spreads are a bit lighter in photos. Um, so that is something I have to work with when it comes to embellishing and um, something maybe I'll keep in mind in the future um, about spreading my posts out a bit more throughout the week. But like I said, 
things happen, life happens, and I get busy and it just doesn't work out. Okay, so I'm just going through the sticker book and filling in all the empty spaces with all these beautiful florals and um, there's a bunch of hearts in this pack as well. And I'm just kind of adding all the things everywhere. I do add some of the little circles, uh, the little circle stickers. I created a cluster above my title uh, with some more flowers. And um, I'm, as always, thinking about distribution of color and um, weight as well as I add all these things to the page. And then um, once I'm happy with the amount of stuff I have on the page, I will come back with those puffy kind of asterisk stickers from an old Studio Calico kit. Um, again, they are in the perfect colors to coordinate with um, the other items I've pulled for this week's spread. I did add a little sticker above the title that says, don't forget. I thought that would be kind of cute. And then I'm adding a few of this, these strips. They're like little washi strips. I added one scallop one at the bottom of the page. And I'm going to add two more here at the top. I do like to create a cluster at the top of the right hand page uh, when possible. And then I think I'm just about done. So like I said, I will add a few of those asterisks. And then I do, of course, add some doodling because I just can't stop myself. So after I get those added, uh, then I will do some doodling off camera. But you will see all of that in the close-up photos coming up at the end. There are a ton of close-up close -up photos as usual, just so you can see all the, the little details and read the journaling if you so choose. Um, and I do mention uh, several of the photos on this week's spread are of the freebies that I offered a couple weeks ago. Actually, well, this week, week 15, um, I offered them on my YouTube channel. So I will be sure to link those videos as well because they are still available and you can go get them if you haven't already. So I will link those down below so that you can find the links to those freebies. And I think that just about does it for this week. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you've been able to find some inspiration and I hope that you are documenting your stories as well. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, I do always appreciate a thumbs up that lets me know that you like what I'm doing and that I should do more of it. Uh, and if you aren't already a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And make sure you hit that bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos, um, which is usually at least twice a week. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you back here soon.